Hello Australia, I'm Lee Lewis, the Artistic Director of Queensland Theatre, coming to you from the lands of the Yuggera and the Turrbal people. It is my very great joy to be talking to you today about the Queensland Premier's Drama Award. For over 20 years, the Queensland Government has partnered with Queensland Theatre to create this Drama Award, which is a playwriting prize like no other. It not only seeks out the best stories from around the country, but it also commits to bringing those stories to the stage so that the playwrights can see their dreams brought to life on a real stage and so that audiences can see the best news stories written by the best playwrights in our voice about us, about things that matter to us right now. Today, Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has announced the shortlisted writers, the finalists for the 2022-23 prize. Those playwrights are Ryan Ennis, Phoebe Grainer, and Anthony Mullins. Playwright Ryan Ennis has written a gorgeous new comedy called Drizzle Boy. It's the story of a young autistic man traveling through the world and encountering all sorts of misunderstandings and miscommunications, and he does not miss an opportunity to make us laugh. Hello, my name is Ryan Ennis, and I'm delighted to say that I am one of this year's finalists for the Queensland Premier's Drama Award. Drizzle Boy is a play about autism. It's about my experience as an autistic person and it grapples with a lot of misunderstandings and miscommunications and truths about autism and autistic people. I was inspired to write the play after a few events where people decided that they should try and cure autism, which I find absurd and hilariously infuriating. <laughs> So I wrote a play which I hope is both hilarious and absurdly infuriating. Hailing from far north Queensland, Phoebe Grainer has written a drama called Burning House. A black family, a small town, a young woman looking for answers, a lovely father, stolen lands, a house on fire. This is a passionate play about secrets and families. Hello, my name is Phoebe Grainer. I'm a Kukajung and Mullaridji woman from far north Queensland. My play is called Burning House. It is about a young woman who decides to uncover the truth about her family and her town. I hope when audiences see this, they feel connected, that they feel a sense of home. This story is about a family. It is about a small Queensland town. I applied for the Queensland Premier's Drama Award because I thought to myself, you know, this is my first play, you know, what can I do in order to get this play on a stage? You know, I'm a Queenslander, I'm a Murray woman, I, I'm from here, and this story that I've written, this play, Burning House, is from here. And, you know, what a, what a better way than to, you know, have, you know, Burning House premiere on the stages of Queensland Theatre. Celebrated screenwriter Anthony Mullins has written his first play. It's called The Norman Mailer Anecdote, and it's the story of a family on one night, in one room, wrestling with accusations from a distant past. Are we really who we remember? Hi, my name is Anthony Mullins, and I live and work in Brisbane on the lands of the Jagera and Turrbal people. And my play is called The Norman Mailer Anecdote, and it takes place in one night, in one room as a family grapple with an accusation from the distant past. And it's a play about how we shape and edit and perhaps even polish the stories that we tell about ourselves and our own personal histories. One of these three playwrights will become the winner of the 2022-23 Queensland Premier's Drama Award. That means their play will be on stage at Queensland Theatre in the 2023 season. I can't wait to find out which of the three finalists will have the experience of having their play on the Queensland Theatre stage next year. The winning playwright will receive not only that production, but it will also receive a $30,000 cash prize donated by Griffith University. It will change their lives, and I know that their play will change our lives.